Lesson four, adding music to your podcast. So scroll down the classroom to add music to your podcast and hit start assignment. Now, I normally like to add music, especially to the start, at the intro of the podcast. Sometimes you kind of want music all the way through, uh, or sometimes just at certain points or at the end. So there might be different points of your podcast that'd be really good to have music, and it really can enhance the sound of the podcast and make it just much more evocative or exciting or fun, just whatever kind of mood you're going for. Music can really help with that. And it's very simple to add a track, as long as you've got sound music files on your computer, like mp3s that you might have downloaded, um, we can come to that in a minute, you can access them easily. So first thing to do is hit this section here, drop a loop or add an audio file. And it's just brought me to my music tracks file, which is actually on my desktop. So you can find any file folder on your computer. And I've got a bunch of tracks here. So I'm gonna try a few different ones just to show you the difference. So first one I'm going to go for is this really mellow guitar track. So I'll click on it and hit open. Now the track appears in my project, but the full track is far too long for my podcast. So I'm just going to grab the right corner of it and drag it in so it's the same length as my voice recording. Let's have a listen. Hello and welcome to episode two of the podcast show, a podcast about podcasts. I'm just going to turn the volume down a bit on that music track, just so I can definitely hear the talking. I'm Rory Clark, and in this episode we'll be talking about why I think podcasts are a great thing to be doing in school. From my experience of working in schools, I find that pupils always really enjoy making podcasts, and I've helped make podcasts from French and literacy, maths and history. Okay, that's nice, it's very chilled and quite calm, so I like that, but I'm going to delete it. So I'll just click on it and hit delete on my computer keyboard and try something else. So this Canal Street Blues, this is a kind of jazz tune. I'll just double click it and it'll appear. And again, I can just trim it so it's, this time I'll just do it so it's just roughly the intro. And now you should hear the difference that the music can have to the vibe of the podcast. Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the podcast show, a podcast about podcasts. I'm Rory Clark and in this episode we'll be talking about why I think podcasts are a great thing to be doing in school. From my experience of working in schools, I find that pupils always... So it sounds a lot more lively and fun, which is just different. It's not any better, it's just different. So I'll stick with this one just now. But I want it to just be the intro... And you'll find when the music cuts off, it sounds a bit harsh. I find that pupils always really enjoy making podcasts. So it just disappears. And what we really want is a fade out. So it's got a nice fade. And the way to do that is if I click on the sound file, go down to the bottom here and hit editor. We'll scroll to the end and I'm going to fade that out. So there's a little white bit here and if I just drag it it's going to fade out however long I want it to be so I'll maybe make it that long I can see seven here will line up with the seven here so my fade starting about here let's have a listen about why I think podcasts are a great thing to be doing in school from my experience of working in schools I find that pupils always really enjoy making podcasts and I've helped make podcasts from French and literacy math Nice one. So if I actually wanted the other chilled out track to come in here, I could add that in quite easily. So if I just go back to add this one and it was still sky let go, open. And I want to start it here, but I'm gonna fade it in a little bit. So there's a bit of a crossover. So I could start it here and then click on it and I'm going back down to my editor and I'll fade this one in up to about there. Now there should be a cross, so as this one fades out, this one fades in and there'll be a change of music. My experience of working in schools, I find that pupils always really enjoy making podcasts and I've helped make podcasts from French. So that's kind of a nice way of just 
transitioning from one song to the other. Okay, and I'll just crop that out there. And then at the end, I think I'll do a fade out. So I'll just go right to the end of this one and do a little fade out so the music dies out at the end. There you go. So adding music can make a huge difference to the sound of your podcast and I highly recommend it. Um, if you don't have any songs that you could use on your computer, you can actually download them from free music websites. So I've put one here in the assignment brief. You could actually just select that and hit right click and select copy. Go into your internet browser and hit paste and it'll take you to this website and there is loads and loads of songs to choose from let's try this so that's kind of cool that's pretty chilled out one like we just had so this little arrow here is download and the download has started it's gone into my downloads folder so if i go back to here I'm going to add a song, but I'll look at my downloads folder. And this could be different for your computers. It might download in a different folder, so you might need teacher, your teacher to help you. But I've found it here. I'm going to click. And I shall just delete the other two songs that I had. Hello and welcome to episode two of the podcast show, a podcast about podcasts. I'm Rory Clark, and in this episode we'll be talking about why I think podcasts are a great thing to be doing in school. From my experience, that actually works really well. Um, I'll stick with that. So simple as that, just copy and paste this address into your browser, download a track you like and chuck it into your podcast. Okay, have fun.